I define civic engagement as being educated and involved in your community, the issues. A big part of civic engagement is holding leaders accountable and our politicians accountable. Really getting to know your peers and being politically active. Getting out and, you know, seeing what issues are, are there with the current policy. It could mean something as small as like signing a petition or just having a debate with a friend or family. But it could also mean something large like going to a protest, writing letters to your congressmen and women. It's getting involved in my local community, um, encouraging others, campaigning in your local community for a cause that you care about. The main most direct way that students can be civically engaged, or really anybody can be civically engaged, um, is through voting. Being able to be active in voting, um, you know, that's generally what civic engagement sort of revolves around. It's, it's a critical time in, in which we have to realize the importance of policy. Because ultimately, we're going to be the ones that have to live with these policies for the longest. Students tend to be the least um, represented when it comes to voting. And we have a voice just as big as the older individuals in our communities. I believe that students are the change. Um, the youth is, is powerful. We're students today, but we'll be the leaders of tomorrow. It's extremely important for students to be civically engaged because we are the future. One of the strategies I use is definitely education because a lot of the youth doesn't necessarily know why their voice matters and how it matters. A lot of students tend to be scared about coming off looking ignorant if they don't know how the voting process works. It's just not something that bothers them, you know, they feel like policy just doesn't affect them. I tell them about, you know, the impact that their vote is going to have um, on different policies as well, um, to list out different policies that can impact them and their families and so forth. Get a feel for why they feel a certain way and why they may, may or may not feel uh, politically engaged. A big part of it is listening to people. I think people always want to be heard. So what I typically like to do is conduct outreach programs and events. So it's it goes by the moral that people like people, so why not use people to encourage others? I believe that civic engagement, um, that's, a, that's a skill that you acquire and it's really, it's a different mindset that you develop. I feel like that could translate into success. I mean, obviously success is a very subjective term, but I think personally, success from civic engagement can come with being an involved citizen. What you learn from being civically engaged and being aware in your community and carry that on in your professional life and personal life, and it really does help you grow. When they see that young people are actually caring, they will respond to the needs of the young people and then so on and so forth. The young people will rise up, they will take the seats. They will be able to hold leadership positions and I think that's so important is to give students the opportunity to hold leadership positions. Civic engagement can definitely have an influence on a student's academic success but also their personal endeavors. I feel like it's helped my people skills. I feel as though I'm a better listener. I am reading books that I never thought that I'd be picking up. Pushed me out of my comfort zone a little bit and like forcing me to just get more comfortable like interacting with students, like approaching them. I'm more aware of my surroundings. I'm definitely better at having debates. Just developing into more of a listener. And opening up my own mind to another perspective. I think about issues with deeper perspective instead of just the surface. I feel as though it's really made me the person I am today. Seawolves vote, Seawolves engage, um, and that's exactly what we do. I led a small group and of students, Stony Brook University students, and we blanket canvassing the entire Albany offices. I think we did like 10 or 15 offices and you know and I think a lot of that was the first time those students were the first time doing something like that. Hosting community dialogues to get a good exchange of ideas about relevant topics and I've previously been involved with political campaigns and um, advocacy work at home. When I'm at home in my community, I try to volunteer as much as I can. So I'm a frequent volunteer at the food bank and 
It's little things like that that people don't know mean civic engagement. We encourage adults in our communities and we, endure, we encourage students as well to, you know, go out and to be, you know, active. There's so many different areas in women's rights that are still lacking in other countries. Issues today that are affecting me, I would say, would be women's health care. Like women's rights advocacy, um, accessible health care for all people, um, and the education system. I'm very passionate about criminal justice reform and equal education. So if I was debating on a particular issue, the one that I would really want to win would be currently climate change. I want to be the person that creates legislation to to change the world, you know, literally change the planet. Think to Alex Trebek, right, who just got diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. Devastating, yes, we love him. Um, and now think of the earth as it's Alex Trebek, who we love, right? But we kind of take them both for granted. The earth's stage four pancreatic cancer is climate change. And we can't let it get to stage four because we're close to stage four, but we're not there yet so we can't let it get there. I'm full of hope, right? <laughs> I'm full of hope for myself. I'm full of hope for others. I feel like hope is always more powerful than fear. And with hope, anything could happen. I do have hope. Um, I will always have hope because it's not, it doesn't stop after me. The generations after, will continue. This is a way for you to have a voice and for you to be heard and to get things done. Um, let's be about action. There's always this power that people hold, people like us, and by embracing that we can definitely make so many, so many changes and so many different impacts on different kinds of people.